MR Touch brings touch interaction to head-mounted mixed reality, complementing existing interaction modalities such as gesture, voice, and controller inputs. Users can simply drag to create virtual touch interfaces on their world, which act like touchscreens with the ability to render 3D content. Our prototype system works on an unmodified Microsoft HoloLens. It supports full multi-touch, making it possible to run a wide range of interactive applications. The MR Touch system continually scans the environment for planar surfaces, visualized here as a checkerboard pattern with surface normal. The system dynamically locates surfaces in the environment without any prior calibration. To launch an app, the user simply drags across the surface to create a touch surface, revealing an app menu. Users can simply launch standard touch applications, like this web browser, making it possible to use a mixed reality device as a day-to-day -day primary computer. Multi-touch gestures are supported, allowing users to use familiar interactions like panning and zooming. Unlike standard touchscreens, however, these virtual touchscreens can render realistic 3D content and support precise adjustments through touch input. Touch input can also naturally be combined with in-air gestures for expressive interactions in 3D space. Touchscreens can be placed on any suitable surface and support an arbitrary number of fingers. In addition to touching surfaces to launch apps, users can also move an existing in-air app onto a surface, for example, here, the in-air buttons become touch buttons when the application is placed near a surface. Microsoft HoloLens features a short-range depth camera for tracking hands in air. Our image streamer service acquires the depth and infrared data at 25 frames per second and feeds it to the tracker engine. Here, we visualize the infrared reflectivity data on the right and the depth data on the left. Touch detection uses the infrared edge map to finally locate and resolve the fingertips. Here, the infrared image is shown alongside the edge map. Every frame, the tracking engine fits a flat plane to the observed depth data, visualized on the right as a blue background region. The tracker combines the edge map with the depth map, reprojected as a height map over the plane's surface. Then, it performs a flood fill to locate the hands and fingers. Here, you can see the background plane in blue, infrared edges in red, and filled hand shapes in green. Finally, the tracker performs contour analysis on the extracted hand shapes to obtain the fingertips and performs touch filtering to track fingers over time. In this view, you can see the finger and hand IDs. Fingers are shown in green when a touch contact is detected and red when no contact is found. We performed a user study to assess the accuracy and applicability of the touch sensing approach over a range of different everyday surface materials. Participants were asked to perform a series of touch tasks in several conditions. In the crosshair task, participants touched a series of crosshairs, confirming their selections with a handheld mouse. This tested static spatial accuracy. In the tracing task, participants traced out various lines and circles to test dynamic spatial accuracy and continuous tracking. In summary, we found that touches were detected 97.5% of the time, with a mean distance error of 5.4 millimeters, a spatial accuracy which is competitive with capacitive touchscreen technology. For full results, please see the paper. In conclusion, our solution demonstrates the feasibility of touch input as a first-class input method 
on a head-mounted mixed reality platform. In addition to providing a comfortable and precise input modality when compared to existing mid-air interactions, our touch solution enables this familiar input method on ordinary surfaces around the user.